good morning students um, welcome to my next video in this video i wish to discuss about an another experiment it is estimation of copper in brass sample we know that brass is an alloy of copper and zinc if we provide a solution of brass we need to calculate how much copper is present in that copper brass sample that's the a so let us move to that how can we conduct this experiment and so and so okay the first of all aim of the experiment to estimate the amount of copper in brass being provided with approximately 0.01 normal solution of sodium thiosulfate AR potassium dichromate crystals a standard salt and a solution of brass dissolved in acid containing 1 gram of 1 gram per liter from this aim it is clear that um, the titrant is sodium thiosulfate an anhydrous potassium dichromate crystal is the standard salt so it's clear that the principle the standard salt is K2Cr2O7 and um, we can say that uh, let me check let me take observation okay and the name of standard salt is K2Cr2O7 and the name of indicator is starts and name of titrant is sodium thiosulfate if the name of tight indicator is starts then we can say that the name of titration will be iodometric titration why because in iodometric titration we are calculating the amount of a substance in terms of iodine produced and the presence of iodine which can be determined by the compound or the indicator starts why because this iodine can form a supramolecular complex with starts will produce a blue color solution okay that's about that these are the equations included in it 3 cu plus 8 hno3 produce 3 cu NO3 twice plus 2NO plus H2 actually this is the formation of or this is the formation step of the brass sample or the brass at that time we have nitric acid add it we have to ionic formula convert it for that or oxidizing agent and now we are using the HNO3 using the then when it is combined with the iodine that will be happen this the cu2 plus is present and it is converted to cu2 i2 the presence is cu plus one i2 converting under and at the same time when the cu2 plus is converted to cu plus one they produce iodine solution sorry iodine so copper is directly proportional to iodine you got it the amount of iodine is proportional to amount of copper that's why this titration is known as iodometric titration when the titration will be carried out this iodine will react with sodium thiosulfate that is Na2S2O3 will form Na2S4O6 plus 2NaY I think that not I think this is the same equation which we learned in what is uh, a dissolved oxygen experiment okay so directly i am moving to the procedure without any introduction and one more thing here the copper is in plus two oxidation state here the copper is in plus one oxidation state so if the reaction is not properly carried out you gain one of the properties of the cu plus one in your plus two syllabus that reaction will be that reversible reaction will be taking place so let us move to the procedure the you the procedure are the, the first two steps for this experiment are same as the experiment in duo 
the first step is the preparation of standard K2Cr2O7 solution. So we can see that. What about the steep pollution? Yeah, first of all, this K2Cr2O7 is uh, prepared in a standard salt, standard uh, flask by dissolving the given sample or a given K2Cr2O7 and made up to 250 ml. Just let me read the a standard 0 0.01 normal solution of K2Cr2O7 is prepared by accurately weighing about 0 0.12 gram of potassium trichromate crystals in 120 ml standard flask. It is dissolved in water and made up to the mark. That is the first step. I think that you are very familiar with that. And the second step is the standardization of sodium thiosulfate solution. What is the same? The same procedure. First of all, you have to pipet out 20 ml of potassium trichromate solution and it is transferred to a clean conical flask. That is the first sentence. 20 ml of the potassium trichromate solution is pipetted out into a clean conical flask. About 3 ml concentrated HCl is added. For what? Yeah, for the conversion of potassium trichromate or to uh, for the conversion of uh, it's actually potassium dichromate is not a oxidizing agent and uh, that uh, does not produce oxygen but con uh, in presence of acid dichromate will produce acid uh, the oxygen at the same time that produced oxygen will combine with the 5 ml 5 percentage potassium iodide solution 5 ml 5 percentage so 5 ml 5 percentage potassium iodide in the presence cell this uh, oxygen produced from K2Cr to O7 produce iodine so that's why with this titration is known as uh, iodometric titration then it is diluted to 100 ml against sodium thiosulfate taken in the burette then the addition of sodium thiosulfate containing the solution become pale yellow color at the initially there are a lot of iron molecule up there but if you add this the, the indicator starts at the initial time or beginning of the titration the complex formed with the starch and iodine is a stable one then we got uh, uh, we got uh, not we, we didn't get a correct answer that's the reason. Then, um, when this pale yellow, there is only that indicate only a light amount of very small amount of iodine will be present. Then, about one ml of the starch is added, and the titration will be continued until the blue color changes to light green. Then, the titration this is plus lighter. What about the color change? Blue color change to light green is the color change. Titration will be carried out till we get the concordant values. Okay. The next one is estimation of copper and brass. First of all, this procedure is something different. First of all, the given water brass sample, actually that is brass sample is prepared by dissolving the brass in um, HNO3 or uh, nitric acid solution. And that brass sample, first of all, we have to make up to 100 ml. Then just shake it well. Then 20 ml of the test solution is pipetted out into a clean clonical flask. We don't know. We think we, there is no doubt about that. To this 5 ml of 5 percentage iodine is added and stirred well. Okay. Then the required amount of 5 ml. What is the reason? Yeah, actually this copper is in oxidation state, which means by the addition of um, this uh, potassium mitate will began to release the uh, iodine. Star well. It is then titrated again sodium thiosulfate. No, acidified the branch sample. E potassium iodide at a reaction not the Suddenly it will what will be happen? Yeah, it will release the iodine. The corresponding iodine related uh, the iodine related to amount of copper. Then it is titrated against a sodium thiosulfate solution which is taken in the burette. 
when solution become pale yellow one more star solution is added and titration till continued this blue color changes to white color or discharged in the previous titration blue is color to changes to light green color that's the reason yeah it is due to the production of chromium chloride here there is no chromium so the color getting discharged or white color is the end point so that's about this titration just recall the procedure first of all you have to take the standard salt k to c at o7 and made up to the level then um, made up to the level 20 ml of the solution be pipetted out into a conical flask add a 3 ml of hcl and record amount of uh, ki uh, 5 ml 5 percent is ki and then the solution color become a dark yellow color then the titration it against sodium thiosulfitic in the burette when this burette is um, when the burette is uh, uh, when the color of the solution become changed to an yellow color um, we have to pay yellow color we have to add one ml of starch as an indicator then the color become blue then that blue color become light green that is the end point in estimation part first of all the prepared the brass sample into a conical flask into a standard flask of 100 ml 20 ml of the solution is we out into add required amount of potassium iodide then titrated against with the, here there is no the addition of a concentrated HCl is been needed because why because actually this brass sample consisting of some amount of acid okay that is in oxidation capacity that is uh, that it will produce uh, into a uh, that will produce uh, what do you mean by that uh, that will produce a small amount of uh, iodine or the required amount of iodine then it will be find out by titrate against the sodium thiosulfate the color change is from blue to um, blue to color less because here there is no um, chromium is chromium chloride is present that's about today's experiment Thank you.